responsibility. I, hey! Bring me the knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> It's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass, like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joel. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> Well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure.
Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family. But the Patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh. He had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. Yes, I couldn't believe it myself, but he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found.
That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital. So I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. blend into the crowd. as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! Hey, there she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her!
This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Damn it! Move! Move! I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently... If I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Why, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too.
Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, Gyoza! <laughs> no, not Gyoza. Peking Duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm-hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's got to be a place serving it somewhere. Seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need Peking Duck! Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to bring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. 
Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. What's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at soap lines. He even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam thing.